Welcome to Four Oak Street. Two videos in quick succession. Well, I was just starting on the next, I suppose, uh, step in this module. And I thought, well, as you know, I'd, I'd normally show you what I've done as opposed to how I do it. Not that I'm getting a massive taste for instructional video because there are plenty of other experts other than me, I can tell you. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you briefly this. Uh, what I'm going to be using is uh, PVA glue and newspaper. PVA glue is um, fairly inexpensive stuff by <laughs> four litre uh, packages. And um, yeah, I'll uh, just show you how I to turn that into the next step. So, as you can see, uh, all the foam, the XPS foam has been put in. Um, right next to the wall. Now I will not be covering that section um, but by the retaining wall in newspaper there's no real um, reason I suppose but what this gives me the opportunity to do now is just put a nice smooth layer um, that will get coated in PVA before it gets painted with the brown and then obviously the various scatters and um, fiberglass etc. So um, very simple, quite quick this, this next bit and obviously because we've got hot weather again here about 35 degrees it will, um, you know, within a few hours it'll be dry. So this also gives me the opportunity to uh, look at some of the areas where there could be some imperfections, um, little areas like this where I may want to uh, just put in a bit of paper before I put the actual covering right up to the um, up to the road traffic, uh, the rail bed, I suppose. So I'll just now show you how this all comes together. So, using uh, newspaper, now most newspapers have at least one edge that um, has a nice straight line on it. So what I simply do with this is using my glue, I'm just going to put a, um, a layer of glue. I have filed up to the edge here to get it pretty spot on which will mean I can get a nice clean edge so that eventually in about the year 2074 when I actually <laughs> get round to um, putting on the back seams it will be a nice clean edge. So of course I could be using a, uh, a much bigger brush. I do have the track um, taped so what I'm going to do now is just quickly just go over that edge on the inside with a bit more glue just so that it's nice and tacky. So overlapping the last section and I really should just get the vacuum out again and get any of the bits off. Just go right up to the edge and then with the um, brush just now smooth it out. So the great thing with this is you're not actually having to build a bit of a crease there, but you won't see that. So you're not having to build any strength with this. <clears throat> this is purely just to get a nice smooth um, surface, I suppose, to paint um, and something that's going to be good for the um, static grass and flock that will go on it. So I'm just now gluing up this little section here. This is watered down about 20% um, water. So I mean you don't necessarily have to put the glue on the back but I do. So what I can do here is I can get right up to the edge of the road bed or the MDF uh, 
road bed and uh, there you go so um, it's not really rocket science it's uh, it's a fairly quick process um, and once again I'm not saying that this is the best method but it's certainly reasonably clean because the only thing you're having to worry about is a little bit of PVA glue largely so I will repeat this uh, until the rest of it is covered just iron out any creases and what you end up with is something that will be like like these yeah so what you end up with is something that is really quite nice and strong and um, I reckon if push came to shove I could actually uh, probably um, stand on it but I'm not going to so um, I'll continue with this I reckon this uh, process will probably take me uh, under an hour to complete and then let it dry and then it will be a question then of um, painting it with uh, brown paint and then um, starting to work out the plan for the uh, various coatings that will try and make it look a bit like English countryside which was the whole idea I suppose of this part of the layout so uh, until next time thanks very much appreciate all your comments and uh, see you at part 79 thanks a lot bye